Julia Designs and in today's tip video I'm going to show you how you can schedule a form in DocuSign to actually send out at a later time for your clients to e-sign that. So the idea behind this is let's say you're up at 2 a.m. catching up on your admin work, filling out your forms, um, but you want to go ahead and have the form actually send to your clients at a normal hour the next day, so maybe at like 8 or 9 a.m. the next morning, <clears throat> you can go ahead and schedule that form out to send for your client's signatures at a later time. So let's take a look at how that would go. So where I am here is in my DocuSign room. <clears throat> so if you need to catch up to me, I am in realestate.docusign.com. Okay, so to access your DocuSign rooms, you will want to go to realestate.docusign.com. Of course, when you're initially creating these transactions, make sure you are logging into command to create an opportunity first. Right, we do want to make sure that we are not creating DocuSign rooms from DocuSign directly. You do need to be creating the opportunity and command first to then click start a transaction to create the DocuSign room to allow the two to link up. And if you need a quick video on that, on how that workflow looks, feel free to drop that in the comments below and I'd be happy to go ahead and create that for you. All right, so I am in my DocuSign room, and of course, feel free to pause the video so you can catch up and get into your DocuSign room. I'm going to go ahead and click on the form to open that up. All right, so I am in the Documents tab of my DocuSign room. You'll see my mouse circling the Documents tab here. All right, that Documents tab is where you'll go to actually pull in your forms, and edit your form. So the first step in this process would be to edit your forms in the Documents tab of your room. All right, so editing these forms is as simple as clicking to start typing. Um, you will see some information probably autofill on your forms as that pulls over from the opportunity. But yeah, editing these forms is as simple as clicking and typing. All right, so once you're done editing this form, you'll want to click save and close on the very top right. All right, so that's really important that we do click save and close on the top right to save any changes before doing any actions. And one more thing to note, you will not see initial and signature fields at this point. You'll see those populate when you pull the form into an envelope. So we'll click save and close on the top right. Great, and that'll take you back to the document section of your room. <clears throat> and we'll want to go ahead and pull the form into an envelope in order to send that for electronic signature. Now you can pull forms into the envelope in a couple different ways. Okay, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and check the checkbox. You can also check multiple. And once you check the checkboxes, you'll see this menu display. Okay, this menu only displays once you select some forms. And I'll go ahead and click Create Envelope on the very top toolbar here. Okay, that's the icon that looks like a pin. That's the DocuSign icon. And that'll be to create an envelope. All right, the idea behind envelopes, we want to send the form. So anytime we go to send the form for electronic signatures, you need to put it in an envelope first. So it makes sense channeling snail mail here. All right, so from here, this is the envelope, so I can see where the recipients go. So I'll click on Add Recipients to go ahead and select Pre-Tag Roles. Okay, so we always want to select Pre-Tagged Roles in order for them to be able to electronically sign. I know this is a quick overview of the actual envelope and how we go ahead and add our clients here. So if you need more details on that, again, drop that in the comments. I'll create a video that you know dives much deeper into this and goes slower on these parts. But right now we're going to go ahead and add our two clients. Right, so I have my two clients here. They need to sign, so it looks good. And I can click on Next. All right, so all we did in the envelope is click Add Recipients for that pre-tagged roles to add our clients in right away. And then we click on next on the top right. And as always, feel free to pause or rewind the video. All right, so at this part, we are in the envelope, so there's not too much we have to do in this section since we've already edited the form in the document section directly. 
You can add additional fields on the left hand side, but again, not, not necessary because those initial fields do populate on the form once they're in the envelope. So since we added the clients, we're seeing those initial fields and signature fields. Now at this point, you can preview the form to make sure that your client can sign all spots. And you can also send that on the top right. So if I click on send, that'll of course send that immediately. Now a newer feature in DocuSign is this little arrow right here. So you'll see that on the very top and the bottom of your screen here, that arrow that gives you the option to send later. And this is a newer feature that's been added in in the last few months here. So we have the option to send later. It's pretty straightforward here. So we click on send later and we click on date. So you can select when. So let's say I want this to go out tomorrow or later today. And I can go ahead and select the time. So let's say I want it to go out today at 5 p.m. And it's like from the drop down here. We want that to go out today. And we click send later. And you do have to schedule that out for at least 30 minutes in advance, but then you can click send later and that will schedule it out. And I did double check, I did test this. It'll save it as a draft and I did test it and that did come over to me um, at, at that time that I, I initiated it to, to, to come over. So if you have any questions on that, please feel free to reach out. That's contact at juliadesigns.com. Again, that's contact at J-U-L-E-A-H, designs with an S, dot com. I'd be more than happy to help you with this. Feel free to drop in the comments if you have any questions about DocuSign. I'd be happy to create a video to address that next. All right, guys, I hope this helped, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.